I got sent this video of um, uh, Steve Ballmer, um, ex um, Microsoft CEO, um, advertising Windows 1.0 um, back in 1986 or five. I can't remember call exactly, but about almost 40 years ago and it was just um, a hilarious video and I encourage you to check it out like I'm sure it's um, uh, there's plenty of options of it to watch it online but just to see him do this sort of goofy used car salesman um, almost reject shop type ad where he's like spruiking the benefits of Windows 1.0 and I'm sure you know back in the day Windows 1.0 would have been amazing to look at in the mid 80s but um, it looks looks kind of odd and it almost doesn't even look um kind of what windows is now <laughs> but but it was quite amusing to watch all of that that you know how how wild westish um you know computing was in the 80s um and i know it started in the 70s but the 80s is re- really where it kicked off and obviously the 90s is when it really uh, came into its own but it was quite an interesting period and an interesting video to look at Oh, it definitely was. Was this or his audition for the top job? Is this is this how he got noticed within Microsoft and then accelerated to the top? You gotta you've got to ask the question. But you know, I think we forget. Uh, you know that pre Windows, unless you had a Mac, of course. But pre Windows, there was no Windows, um, and this was the first time on a PC that you could tie everything together. Um, and I think that. You know, the reality is is that it's quite an exciting step forward. <laughs> Although if you really look at it, it's not a very good product by any stretch of the imagination, particularly when, uh, say, you know, you would compare it to probably what the uh, original Macintosh, you know, was delivering. So it's, it, I guess, it's a line ball sort of thing, but it's, it's a step up from just working in DOS. Oh, absolutely. And um, I have vivid memories of uh, working in DOS even in the early 90s when I first started getting those computers. Um, But it's interesting just as a final point, like um, I remember the like the Mac OS or what was whatever OS was called back then um, uh, for the Mac. um, You can see where it's where it's gone. Like I, I don't know if it's actually humongously different from a conceptual point of view, although Windows, on the other hand, um, I think it took another 10 years until Windows 95 before it turned into what it actually is now. Like arguably Windows 95 and Windows 11, like you can kind of see, like you can see how they're related. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, I think at Windows 95, we really took uh, a step forward. You know, uh, Microsoft finally did what, uh, you know, Apple had achieved 10 years earlier. (laughs) And still didn't get it quite right, <laughs> but by Windows 11, you know, I, you know, you'd say really that there's there's not a whole lot of difference, uh, certainly at a user level or interface level between uh, Windows or uh, Mac OS. Mm, absolutely, absolutely. But only ninety nine dollars, unbelievable. In the days back when they charged for for operating systems, probably like a thousand dollars now. <laughs> <laughs> 